What's up everybody, welcome back to the homestead. I hope you guys have had an awesome day this far. Um, so we have a surprise. It's kind of like an unboxing type deal that we're gonna do tonight. Um, as you guys know that we have been planning on getting chickens, but everywhere we're looking, everybody's buying chickens. And so we have made the decision to buy an incubator. <laughs> and we have a good friend, it's actually someone that you work with, um, who's giving us how many? 18 eggs. 18 eggs, it's gonna be a... Hopefully they're uh, fertilized. <laughs> they should be. If he's doing his job, they should be fertilized. He is. <laughs> According to her, he is. <laughs> so, um, this video is gonna be unboxing our, uh, we actually have a little giant uh, digital digital steel air incubator. This is it. We're going to be un unboxing the this. The only one where we live. Literally. Yeah, that's it. Because apparently Z everybody's Zilch. buying these. Nada. Like, their trap supply had a, uh, a quite a bit in stock, and then all of a sudden, poof, everybody bought them all in a day. Yeah. We're going to unbox this, and also, we're going to be unboxing. I'm going to show that. Now, what does that do? Automatic egg turner, which is necessary for the eggs to develop. So yeah. this is a must. We had to get this with it. Yes. Um, we could have done it by hand, but uh, we just decided why not go ahead and spend the money on the egg turner. It would save us time. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, if we accidentally missed one or we're out, of, you know, we're gone somewhere, yeah. we don't have to worry about the eggs getting turned. So right. this video is gonna. I'm gonna. We're going to show you unboxing first we're going to unbox the incubator and show you and give you our first thoughts on it and then we'll unbox the egg turner give me, give me, give me, give me. all right so she has undone the uh, little tape pieces now the still now the still air incubator is styrofoam um you might think that's might not be good, but a lot of people use these. It's a quite a common thing. It's a good um, thing. for the heat that the baby needs. I agree. I think it's I think it's going to be a good insulator. Aha, and there's the heating it's way unit. Bigger than I thought it was. It's supposed to hold, I think, 41 eggs. Now this is the heating unit, um, which it comes with directions, and we'll be looking at those in just a few minutes. So this is the bottom. That's going to be the bottom of it. Okay. It's got the plastic tray at the bottom that you could okay. sit your eggs on. And now, maybe put that on top. Okay. Boom. Wow, that's there huge. it is. That's pretty big. And now these red things right here, that actually helps you control the humidity within the incubator. So you can take them out if you, there's too much, put them back in if there's not. Yeah. But this is actually, it looks huge on camera, but it's as huge as it is on camera, it is in person. Yeah, I think- That's awesome. I think styrofoam is genius because it will hold that heat in. Yeah, there's um, a reason why we buy it to put our beer in yeah. on the weekends. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get the egg turner. Let's check this one out. This was necessary because the eggs have to be turned several times a day to um, to fully uh, to develop the way they need to. That the embryo would develop correctly. And some people do it three times a day, but they say the more you do it throughout the day, the better it is. So we went ahead and splurged and bought the uh, egg turner. And this is the turner that goes with the unit. Whoa, that's nice. So neat. So. The tape off. <laughs> At least we know it's not returned. Pretty awesome. It has one, two, three, four, five, six trays. So, let's... Other, other way, I think. Wow, 
There we go. Bam. So, okay. That goes in there like that. And then I think the cord would go out of one of these holes right here. And it just goes out on the side. We plug that into the wall. Maybe they pop out. I don't know. What pops out? Or do you just hold it? No, there. See that little oh, right there on gotcha. the back side? There's a hole right there that goes out. Boom, just like that, plug it into the wall. And then I believe there's a plug that you plug the heater unit in with right there. This? Yes. yes, plug that in and that is what turns on the unit. And now we're actually gonna be hooking this up tonight. We're gonna to get the humidity going, get the temp up um, yes, because to, yeah. guess what happens tomorrow? Babe, tell them. We get our little babies. Your little chicky eggs. Hopefully, little babies. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get 18. That's it's, our goal. It's um, necessary to uh, run it pretty much 24 hours before you put the chicks in there. I'm sorry, not the chicks, the um, eggs, eggs, because um, it has to regulate the temperature. So... So far, quite honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be quite as big as it is. Yeah. And it's actually, I mean, it's, it doesn't feel bad. Even when it's styrofoam, yeah. it feels pretty sturdy. Um, and I, I heard something today in a review of this particular unit. It is the Little Giant, I believe it's the, what, 9300? Model 9300? Um, yes. It's the Little Giant uh, Model 9300 with a digital thermometer humid, uh, humidifier in there um, did the same model review on this and I like what he said was he says that you can't judge an incubator by the hatch rate you can't you can't compare the hatch rate to the incubator um, because the incubator is going to do its job mm -hmm. it's uh, it's our part in playing mama to make sure that the right. environment's right and to make sure that the eggs are actually fertilized we can't make them hatch if they're not fertilized right. so that's not the incubator's fault so I think this is going to be a good unit. We're going to find out. We're going to get it kicked up. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I didn't really know what to expect because, you know, you read, okay, this is styrofoam. It's like, is that really going to be worth it? But this is like, it's a good size. It's and it's dirty. not, it doesn't look or feel um, cheap. No, it, not at all. I mean. Even the unit up here doesn't even look so, cheap. I mean. So we're on read the directions. We'll figure this out. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think uh, for a first unboxing, we've never seen one of these before. Yeah, and I like it. This says is our first incubator. time incubating eggs. I like uh, that it says made in USA. <laughs> yeah, that that's a plus. That's a plus during these times. We'll right see if now. it lives up to that name. Oh, and we also got this. This is crucial to having um, eggs. So an egg handler is, during the process, it takes 21 days to incubate eggs. And on day seven, you want to pull this out. It's like a little flashlight type thing and you put the egg on top of it. And then you can kind of see the picture right here. You can tell if the embryo was developed or not. Yep. And any that did not develop, you have to pull out because if you don't, it will explode and get all gross with bad egg. All in our there, and we definitely don't want that. So, yeah. This is the unboxing of the unit. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Now, tomorrow, whenever we have everything set up, we will redo this. Mm -hmm. We'll do another video showing it completely set up mm -hmm. and showing us putting the eggs into yes. the unit. Yes. Um, so excited. Uh, we'll so also. Uh, it was also recommended that we buy a extra thermometer because sometimes these. Uh, thermometers these building units yes. might be off by a degree or two so it's recommended to buy one of these and you can calibrate this there's two easy ways you can google it it's very simple but you want to make sure it has that nut on the back right there so that you can calibrate it uh, if it's off by a couple degrees and you sit this in there just as a double and you we, know, have, just we bought check. two 
yes. to make sure that the temp is where we want it to be <clears throat> in here. Double check. And that way you can adjust <clears throat> the main um, thermometer to what the actual degree is in the incubator. So, yes. Yeah, so more to come. You'll yes. see more tomorrow. Yes.